Today's video, we're going to be talking about how to make a watermark logo. So that is taking your existing logo and creating an effect in order to be able to place it over documents or photographs or something to look after your intellectual property. This is a very important step for anything that you have created that you have online so that people are able to see the quality of your work, that they are then not able to copy it and use it without your permission. I'm Gigi from Spotted Hat Design and we help new business owners create professional logos in Canva in just a couple of minutes with simple step-by-step -step tutorials. For this tutorial, all you will need is your logo with your background removed. Okay, so coming into canva.com, normally we would be using a logo for any type of logo work, but in this case, we're actually going to be importing your logo already made. We are going to be using a banner today just for the purposes of illustrating for what it may look like on a picture, for example. Right, so here we are inside our banner. We're going to go over to uploads and we are going to upload an image of your logo with your background removed. If you are not sure how to do this, check out my video on how to remove backgrounds from your logos. I'm just going to crop out some negative space here so that we've got a nice neat image to work with. Right, there you've got it. Very simply what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over to edit image and this is completely optional. I'm choosing to change it into a white image so let me just change the background so we'll be able to see it. This doesn't matter what color the background is. I'm going to go over to edit image and we are, I'm just going to go over to Duotone, Custom, and I'm going to make sure that the highlights are white as well as the lowlights. So that's a quick and easy way to recolor an image that has been imported. And then I'm going to copy it. So you can either go over to Copy or Control c is a shortcut. And then we're going to just reduce the opacity. So this is completely up to you as to the appearance that you want, but I'm thinking of about 20%. And then I'm going to bring it over to show you what it might look like on an image. So we use watermark images to protect our brand and to protect our intellectual property. So this can be as large or small as you want. Um, you can see the opacity is there. It is interfering with the sky, which is exactly what you're wanting so that your image cannot be used by somebody else. Like I say, the transparency is completely up to you. This could be, this could have been kept as black if you wanted to as well. But I find that for the majority of my work, the white is a good base for it. And then the transparency is how you create that sense of clarity. Alternatively, let me just duplicate this to show you what an alternate option might look like. So sometimes these need to be used for documents where you are wanting to have it um, repeated. And then it's just a case of copying and pasting the image. And if you are wanting that across the whole thing, I've clicked all of them. Click group, copy, and you might want to do something like that. Ungroup. Control C, Control V, so that it is then an entire image. And then what I'm going to do here is select the group again and copy, bring them across and match it up there. So if you are wanting to have a repeated pattern over it to protect the entire image or the entire document, that is another option. So completely up to you and completely depending on the type of document you have and the type of protection that you need. You can either have a single unit, as big or small as you like, or a repeated pattern. Okay, um, your final step is going to be to go over to share, download, all pages unselected, page two and page three. Done, and that will go download and that will go over to your downloads folder. Okay, so there you have your watermarked image in Canva. So now you've seen how easy it is to create a watermark on your documents. Remember that there are two different systems that you can use, so you need to pick the one that will work the best for what you are creating. I hope this helps you build confidence in putting your things online, knowing that they will be copyrighted and they cannot be used in a way that you wouldn't like. If you already have an existing logo and you're not sure how to, to remove the background, which is what you need for this particular tutorial, check out this video here, which shows you how to do just that. 